the pit, the exciting conclusion to Playdate. <laughs> uh, this episode, Jake travels to, actually, what was that world? That whole glass mirror world or whatever. Did it have a name? Actually, I was busy running around doing something else, and I completely forgot if it had a name or not, so... It, he, he might have said, but, uh, as some sort of weird glass mirror world, uh, which is pretty cool. I, you know, things sort of break into shards, and they have, like, the the frames on the camera constantly cracked, too. I thought yeah. that was kind of clever. Um, and, uh, the, this demon throws Jake, still thinking it's Joshua, into this pit, sucks away his blood, is trying to annoy him, you know, and get revenge, but it's not working very well, because Jake... Jake... Yeah. And so, uh, he goes and gets this other woman named Samantha, voiced by Marina Sirtis, which I pointed out, good for me. Oh, he did. Um, and... And, the, and apparently her voice is very... Oh, as I... Okay, I met this woman in person, okay, and it is just... I'm just gonna tell you right now, you think it sounds good on TV, it's just... It, her voice is fucking amazing. <laughs> it's like a really... Yeah, it's, um... Good voice. Anyway, uh, so, uh, yeah, it throws her in. She just wants to either love or conquer, or both, whatever, and so she starts beating the shit out of him. Uh, so Finn is trying to figure out how to get Jake back, invites Rainicorn over, goes through these VHSs of uh, their dad talking about how he got the demon and uh, how he controlled it and... All this important information that's constantly taped over by Jake either making erotic videos for for Lady or these really dumb little movies. <laughs> heat signature. Yeah, he signature too. <laughs> Which I almost I really want to see heat signature too, actually, because I love that little clip I saw. You know, of Bemo sacrificing the lives of her submarine men to save the world. And trying to get forgiveness from the worm priest. Shelby. Shelby, who of course can just say, Check, please. <laughs> um, so, but they finally get some information. They travel there. They, uh, they defeat the demon by having a sword made out of blessed grape juice. Blessed again by Shelby going, Check, please. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they, they get Jake out. They go back to the real world. They bring Samantha with him. Um... And, uh, yeah, uh, she just walks away, and he has to explain how, eh, there's, there's really nothing, and Finn apparently still loves the lame princess, too. Yeah. The end. Oh, and the door is left open, and a leaf scrolls by. Um, I wasn't sure if that was, like, foreshadowing something, or if it's just completely random. Um, mm. so, I don't know. Um, uh, I remember after it happened, I sort of said, did we, did a leaf pop in for anything because i always remember there's always like a snail or like a piece of candy or something that's really evil so i was like was there an evil leaf i was trying to remember but i uh i, I don't think there was so um yeah anyway it's uh yeah no it, it, it was fun i liked i would have liked a little bit more of that glass kingdom because i liked even though i guess they kind of did it when they went in uh when lumpy space princess was looking at like all the mirrors and stuff like that but i liked all the glass breaking apart. I like how they traveled there. I like how when they said the magic words, everything broke apart. And the, I like that stuff. I thought that was really creative. Um, the demon's very funny. Uh, do we know who voiced him? No. It, 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 he was funny, whoever he was. Um, so. Oh, uh, you killed. Oh, it's dead. Oh, well, okay. My daughter, let me check with this. Okay, you can check Go with on. this. Go on. <laughs> Gunter, tell me who voiced the demon! <laughs> really? I did not know that. I did like, actually, by the way, which I forgot about during play date, where Ice King actually brought that up. All Gunter says is, wah, wah. what's with that? <laughs> I like that. What's with that? Um, Sorry, I can't do the voice. <laughs> Meanie pants. So, um, yeah, no, it, it was a fun episode. It wasn't like a huge, you know, epic one, but, you know, I don't know if I need a huge epic one. I don't know if it demanded that. You know, just a nice... Uh, resolution with a little bit of fighting and comedy, and that's pretty much what we got. Um, and, uh, yeah, the, the demon was funny. I, I like the, oh, 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 that's right, the, uh, little buddy. I almost totally forgot about uh. that. No, first of all, he sits on a rock, then the rock talks. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were a rock. He's like, no, I'm little buddy. And he, 
gets up and he has this really, you know, colorful, friendly voice. It's like, you know, our species sleep for uh, the first 12 years. And he's like, you know, this is my first day waking up. And then he runs into the booby trap that <laughs> the demon set there. It's like, that's it, he's gone. And it's, I remember I, I was telling Bree, I was like, I was looking forward to that character. I was like, I wanted to see more of him. <laughs> but that just makes it all the funnier. You really think this is going to be like a returning character. He's there for seconds. Um, so that was very funny and very... And they've done a joke like that before, like with the bubble, where, you know, well, you not think... To, there's that. There's the one where, it's, where they're wizards. And the rock gets turned to life, and it's like, Yay, I'm alive! Oh, God! Yeah, but no, it's something about this one where you really think there's going to be something continuing, oh. and it just stops. You know, and, and the bubble, granted, was not officially dead, you know, but at the same time, it's like they're really building up something, and then they just squash it, you know? And, I, <laughs> and, and they squash it so quickly, uh -huh. you know, just popping the bubble or just walking into that laser... Uh, booby trap, which I just love. I love that he has all the stuff you would need. It's just booby trapped. <laughs> it's both, like, really diabolical and really pointless. <laughs> so, um, no, I, I thought it was fun. I thought it was, uh, great fun. Well, this is loading up and all that junk, yada, yada, yada. I liked it. I thought it was pretty neat. I did, like, his name is Kioth. That, yeah. That's the actor's name. No, that's the demon. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say that that's a very, uh, was it like Madonna or Bjork or <laughs> Noah Nelson? I don't know who that is. Yeah, neither do I. And, and chances are we've heard his voice a million times, I'm sure, because that's how most voice actors <laughs> work. But uh, yeah, no, I definitely uh, maybe he was really funny. He, he, was, he was really good. Um, I what oops, done? Uh, no, I liked it because you get to know a bit more about Joshua, and people could argue all they want. He's an ass. Who, Joshua? Yeah, he's kind of just an ass. And yes, he's an adventurer and all that stuff and yada, yada, yada. But like, yeah, a demon's a demon. I get that. But was this demon doing anything? Not yeah. really. It wasn't like he was going around slaughtering children or anything like that. Josh was just like, oh, hey, I'm going to go to your home. Well, we don't know. It was it was copied over, so maybe... Maybe he was doing something bad, but unlikely, I guess. Uh, you know, he goes to his home, takes him and chains him up into his room, and then kind of taunts the guy. Yeah, I love when he, whatever, it looks like the demon's gonna get out, he's about to attack, and he just throws the water in his face. It's like, the, I love it when the demon's really pathetic. You yeah. Know? It's, it, the, when that demon plays pathetic, I think that's the funniest. Now, you know what I see with, uh, with Joshua? I see, you know, a character, a father character, who's from a different generation. I see someone that's like, you know, why would you hurt and torture this demon? I don't know, he's a demon. It's just what he does. You know, it's what we do. It's, you know, what good strong men do. And so, just the way he talks seems, you know, uh, very 40s and 50s. Let's go get him. We're adventurers, you see? You know, and it's, it's one of those things where, I don't know, because you always hear of, like, past prejudices and stuff like that. And a lot of people either have, like, a really, they know someone really old or they have a relative or something where it's like, you love them, but they're from a different time. And it's like, damn it, why did you have to grow up in a time that was like, whatever, really prejudiced or racist or something? Because it's like, I like you aside from that, but damn it, you're, that, that stupid part of your generation. <laughs> so, and it's like, you always try to tell them to get better and stuff, but it's like just ingrained or whatever. So that's kind of what I see with him. I see him as like, that guy who, yeah, he's doing really wrong, but it it kind of feels like that's just it's kind a of... a product of the time. Yeah, I, you know, and I could be totally wrong. That's just, but something about the way he talks and with the accent, he sounds like, you know, like an announcer from the 40s or something. And that's just, that's kind of what people from the 40s were like, you know. I guess. No, I mean, I, I agree with that. But then again, he's also dead, so it's not like he's continuing on doing this. Mm. Um... So I guess I'll give you a little leeway on that. Well, I mean, but we we don't know. We don't know exactly the past, you know, of this. I mean, we know, whatever, the Simon and Marcy thing. But, oh, come on, don't be mad. Be no, mad. you're hitting me. Yeah, well, you deserve it because you were mad. Oh, okay. So, um, I, don't know, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, I could just be making an excuse, too. Maybe the writers are just like, no, we just thought it was funny if he was a dick. You know, like, no other reason, but, uh. That's, a, that's something that, uh we did discuss briefly in the comment section about old people because people are wondering why do i hate old people 
And, and I dislike old people because they're able to get away with whatever they want, in a sense. You know, so because, the kids. <laughs> and I hate kids! <laughs> Hello! But, okay, kids are kids. It, you have to be taught. Okay? By the time you're an old person, a, a granny or a grandpa or whatever, you should know better. By that point, I'm well, but then the brain enough. starts working backwards. It's like now you're. It's like on your way in, you know, you're sort of learning stuff. You know, it's like you're dumb, but you get smarter and smarter. And when you're on your way out, you're going back to being dumb. You're going back to nothing. But <laughs> you punish much. kids. Why can't you punish old people? Because you know they're gonna die anyway, and that's the ultimate punishment. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, why bother? Why is that a punishment? <laughs> death is a good thing. <laughs> I, I I probably say no. That's why I can't stand old people. Is they're able to get away with stuff because, well, they're old, so we'll let them do whatever they want. They'll run around and say the N-word, and it's okay! Because, well, that's probably well, I don't know, who, who, was that, who was that one chef that, like... Oh, well, Paula, no. Paula Dean, right? That's it. Yeah, yeah, she definitely couldn't say it. Well, what I find humorous about that is... Did you ever say it? Yeah, I said it, like, once a long time ago. You're guilty! Well, no, 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 that was like, I thought she was saying something like, this is the way things should be, and it was something like black serving whites or no! something. No! Like well, wasn't that what she was saying, something Not like that? Not at all! I, I thought that was like the As far as I know, but I could be completely wrong, don't quote me, I didn't follow it too much. Like, everyone's gonna be like quoting, going and getting the quote what Paula Deen did now. Oh, that's fine, <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't mind learning. But no, like, <laughs> one of my relatives, I won't say which old one it is, but we're sitting there, and I was going to go down the street to get something, and this person leaned in and goes, Okay, but be careful of them coloreds. <laughs> oh my god. And I'm like, really? In this day and age, you're not just saying, not just using that terminology, but you're still saying it. Like, as in, yeah, watch out, those black people are going to get you because, you know, it's the middle of the freaking day. Mm. No, I, it, and that's my thing is that no, they should be punished and be told no. What you're saying is wrong and stupid. I I never know if it's like, if it's like a relative, I'll fight a little bit more and I'll talk a little bit more usually because it's like, well, that's you know my relative. You know, what I'm not that I, I don't really, like my relatives. So <laughs> not that I really have that many that do that really. But again, it's like. Different times, different backgrounds and environments and stuff like that. I think that, I mean, it's like the phrase, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, you know. It's like, it's not that it can't be done. I, I think it can be done. You know, I think there's a lot of older people that, you know, have learned stuff and, and come around and done great things. Um, it, but it is tougher, you know. It's because you do get older and slower and so on. And it's like, I get that. And it sucks. You know, it really sucks. Um, I don't know how much of an excuse it, it should be i mean because you're right you are kind of right it's like they they are adults and they should you know at the same time be aware of how the world is changing and you know and how it should be and, and so on but at the same time if if the environment has done nothing but encourage this and then as you st you stay around people usually of your same age getting older so you're still surrounded by that environment and suddenly these younger people coming up just saying nope that was wrong even if they're right, it's like, dude, like, my whole friggin' life has been ruled by this rule. You know, so how, how am I supposed to just instantly change? You know what, though? If these people are still able to drive, they should be in enough mindset uh, uh, to Oh, no, no, learn. no. Okay, okay. This is a different subject, okay? Because no, no, there, there, is... there's a lot that are driving that should not be driving. Oh, no, I agree, and that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if you're still able to drive, you should still be able to learn. That's what I'm saying. So and if your license I, is taken away, then it's like, you, okay, fair enough, you say yeah. whatever you want. <laughs> that's, that's an interesting rationale. I'm okay <laughs> with that. But if you're like, if you're coherent and smart enough to drive... Yeah, you should be smart and coherent enough to pick up stuff. To like change that. with the times, to learn what's going on. There's the saying, respect your elders. But I'm sorry, I don't blindly respect people who run around saying well, the yeah, word. Yeah, you shouldn't blindly respect Anyway, respect should be earned. You should exactly. respect those that have earned it. You but know? that's the problem. Most people sit there and say, oh, he's lived for 90 years. You should respect this person or whatever. It's like, no. <laughs> I, I don't. Old people just like kids. Uh, I hate both of them because they're just. <laughs> and when I get old, I'm going to expect people to hate me. Because when I was a kid. It's I was, okay. I, I hate you plenty now. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that. 
Hate is something that's also earned. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, I don't know how we got on this tangent. I mean, it's like, not even any old people in this episode. Because we're talking about Joshua. I guess. He's well, not... Different time periods. Yeah, different time periods and stuff. Yeah, whether or not the demon torture in this was justified. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I do... I, he's like, ha I've been drinking holy water. And he's like, I gotta go to the bathroom. So he finally breaks free and he just comes back, splashes him. Ah! Ah, oh, I can't believe that. I gotta go pee again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, with the voice, you hit the nail on... I think you hit the nail on the head that he's totally from a different time period and that's kind of what we're supposed to get, I'm mm. guessing, at least. Yeah. But... He's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so, here and here, Joshua's a dick. What can you do? You literally cannot teach that old dog new tricks. Uh, I will provide my own badumps, thank you very much. Badunkadunk? Sure. You can shake your butt. I would love to see you shake your butt, because clearly we're, there's not enough gifts of that. Actually, I haven't done that in a while. I've been pretty good. I I I I think we're due. Oh yeah. Somebody make a gif of that. Wait wait. Watch watch. This is going so awesome. <laughs> See? <laughs> Damn it! How do you always have such good timing? Yeah, suck it. <laughs>